that this last hurdle will be the toughest for the Blues to clear. Let's have a look at the team news. Since last April's meeting in the Champions League, Benfica have lost a couple of key players in Garcia and Witzel, but they've added some quality too. The Argentine Salvio is good, so is the Brazilian forward Lima. 24 goals this season, but only a sub tonight. Other names, though, will be familiar. Nemanja Matic played three times for Chelsea. Nicolas Gaitan has real craft and links well with Oscar Cardoso, the big man up front. 24, 28 goals for him this season. But he was benched at the weekend for a huge game against Porto in the Portuguese title race. That shows you how much they want to win this. Luis Sal is their skipper. Bjorn Kuypers has the honour of refereeing this final. He's part of a largely Dutch team of officials tonight. Chelsea suffered a pair of heartbreaking injuries at Villa Park on Saturday. John Terry may not have started this anyway, Ed, and Hazard certainly would have. Neither have made it. Suspended domestically, this will be the last game of the season for Ramirez. And yeah. Benfica get us going. Just missed his touch. That's a fantastic ball by Matter. Bring in the middle again. Cahill's winning. Deflection on that. It could have gone anywhere. One or two shouts for a penalty, but more from fans <laughs> than players. Yeah, and I think every time a ball goes in the box with a bit of pace and hits a player, You'll always get the fans shouting one thing and another about that should have been a penalty. That's for Ben as well, isn't it? You know, and uh... ball in towards Cardoso here. First header on target or off target rather for him on the night, and it won't be the last. Yeah, well, that's where he's dangerous. Got to stop the crosses coming in, of course. But he's a big lad. He's difficult to mark. Very strong and powerful. Algarejo, Cardoso on the spin, and it's fallen for Salvio here. It's a good block from Ashley Cole. It's a good job he got it in. There's some good running off the ball, isn't it? Ramirez just lost his man there. And it's a strange decision on the cross. He's got to put in Fika, so turning into a, a decent player at the moment. And it's something clever off the training ground and a low ball in that could go anywhere. Wonderful chance. Two, three times over. And somehow Chelsea escape. Incredible. I don't know how Benfica aren't one up. We've got away with it. I'll tell you what, we might have got them on the counter though. No, we've lost possession. Square ball. Now Perez. The Salvio, it's worked really well this. Until the shot at the end of it, which was fairly disastrous. Ben, they're, guy, they're, what's he they're, doing? They're letting us off the hook here. Why they're not pulling the trigger in dangerous areas, I don't know. Good passing, good movement. This ball outside here, one touch shouldn't be so bad, would it? <laughs> Salvio Platini Croix. It's another great pass from Luis. The matter cross towards Gaitan. Should have volleyed it. Another, this is Oscar, having a pop from distance. This is right on target, good power behind it. One thing that David Luiz has got is this ability. It's Mata. Oh, by 30 minutes. Not He's moving at all, but this is Lampard, who will always shoot. And he's very nearly fired Chelsea into the lead there. It's better, isn't it? Much, much better. Well, we know Frank won't hold back and he's got an opportunity to shoot. Lovely little drop of the shoulder. Lewis South goes with the drop of the shoulder. Gives Lampard a chance, and the goalkeeper's done really. And Guy Tan again. Went with the outside of the left boot. Didn't go with much conviction, though, Ben. Again, they've got themselves into great positions. Passing's been good, neat and tidy. Good approach play. There's a chance here. Great lad. Still going up, isn't it? Doesn't get the dip he's looking for, Frank. We know he's got the capabilities. We see the Cardoso making the run and the ball in towards him wasn't a bad one. Well, again, Gary Cale's done ever so well here. You know, he's, he's a handful, of Cardoso. We already talked about him prior to the kickoff. He's a big, strong, tough, old fashioned centre beyond them and getting into the back of the back four. And those two might be a little bit static. Something to look out for then in the second half. Goalless, but it's been a pretty open Europa League final so far. A bit too open at the back from Chelsea's point of view. Benfica on top, more chances, more league final so far. A bit too open at the back from Chelsea's point of view. Benfica on top, more chances, more shots, but no goals. Defending here, need to get something on it. 
thankfully again the shot is poor but that's a sign from Benfica that they're willing to take on shots from outside the box I think they're suspect I think that's an area we can really get at them see the Benfica fans are a more jubilant perhaps Oscar with it, Salvio's crosses are very dangerous, Torres has done well there, flag is up against Ramirez, Arta got there anyway, yeah. you wanted him to play that ball all along but it, it had to happen quick. Well you could see the run couldn't you, and the one thing that was unlucky for Torres is he couldn't get the ball back quickly enough to get the ball forward with the third. Yossi Benihin says it went out of play, Gaitan's ball in, no flag, yes there is, goodness me, Chelsea appealed, then it went up, Cardoso thought he'd scored, I Ooh. thought he'd scored as well, Ben, to be honest. If he's offside here, he definitely shouldn't be. And one. It's a deep cross and round the back was Salvio. Yeah, difficult position to score from, but again, free inside the penalty area is not a good. Good pass. Cardoso's made it his. Perez is there, he's not the only one. There's Rodrigo arriving as well in there. Yeah, that's a good defending, I think, initially here. Four, but. The check is uh, quite comfortable there. Torres is in here. Fernando Torres scores! Chelsea strike first in Amsterdam. And it is the much maligned Fernando Torres with his sixth goal in this year's competition. And this one's the biggest of the lot. Well, that's absolutely terrific, isn't it? What a finish by Torres. Keeps his balance so well after the contact from the goalkeeper. Stays on his feet and is able to slot it home. And again, we just caught Benfica on the hop and again, it's straight down the heart. Long ball forward by Penacek. Good throw by him, to be honest. Well, and it's just drifted through. Torres has used his strength and I said straight through the heart of their defence. They're two centre-backs. He's got those, so. They have a little ball. Benfica won a penalty. And they've got one. Well, it was a handball, there was an outstretched hand. Whether it was inside or outside, I'm not too sure, Ben, but it did strike Aspilicueta's head. Come on, Big Pete. Cardoso against Czech. Big moment, big equaliser. Benfica back on terms. Well, it looks like Cardoso's got cracked from striking that. Strikes him sweetly enough. And he's just driven it straight down the middle. Pelicic, no chance whatsoever. Good power in the strike. Well, back to square one, Ben. 22 minutes to go, just oh, over. Benfica have made their changes. And that's a good finish. So good, he got cramped from it. So the John is on, young Dutchman. That's the matter. Good ball. Torres turns him again. And what's a penalty? Bjorn Kuyper says no. I think if he goes down initially, he'll get he'll get it. But I think he's taking an extra step. And I think because of that, he's up. Lusau heads clear. Ramirez goes in alone. He gets the corner by Lewis out. Yeah, great running off the ball by the lads there to get into the box and give Ramirez some support. And I don't blame Ramirez for taking it on. It's just his day. So here it's a dipper, and it was a beauty, and it was definitely heading in. And it's a top-class save from a top-class keeper. It's a decent strike, is it? I just think Ivanovic gets caught trying to get across in front of Gary Cale. He doesn't need to make that run initially. It leaves Cardozo with a bit of space. Finds the space, terrific volley. And Almeida up from the back. Almost fell for Carvection. Tremendously well. And the shot is fired in, it's off the woodwork. What a strike, what a shot this is. Absolutely brilliant by Frank Lampard. Worthy of winning any cup competition. What a strike. Final minute. Ivanovic! It's there! Branislav Ivanovic wins the Europa League for Chelsea Football Club. Stunning, stunning drama right at the death in Amsterdam. Absolutely wonderful, you can't write the script, can you? It's a free header. The one thing I was thinking as the corner's coming in, there was miss out, Lewis out. We did that. Branislav never gave it up, he was backing off, 
It's a free header and it's looted to the back of the net. The goalkeeper rooted to the spot. It's a disaster for Benfica, but what a way to win. A long one up towards Cargo, so he might get there. How has it stayed out? <laughs> Guess we're defending in the hearts in the mouth time for the Chelsea. hero and Chelsea have won the Europa League again in the most dramatic of circumstances just like Munich last year extraordinary Clive Walker it's unbelievable you, as I said before you can't write the script this is something that dreams are made of you don't see cup finals like this very often for many periods of the game Benfica look the better of the two sides but Chelsea have come up with the goods and that man Rafa Benitez has done it again he's got his trophy and a consoling word for Jorge Jesus for him and Benfica it's another massive heartache for Chelsea another source of real jubilation Cardoso got them level and might have even pinched an equaliser and it's all too much for some of them and you can understand why. It's another one for the tale of woe for Benfica. But another one on the honours board for Chelsea Football Club. The first English, the Europa League winners for 2013. It's a beautiful trophy. And it's coming to Stamford Bridge. Blue is the colour in Amsterdam. to fruition yes it's not the champions league cross towards Gaitan should have volleyed it 